I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath and I want to take a few minutes and talk about some of the winter weather you'll hear making headlines here over the cold winter months, starting with Arctic blasts that come from the polar vortex. So let's start with the basics, what the polar vortex is. It's an area of low pressure and cold air that surrounds it that sits at both the north and the South Pole. When we have a strong polar vortex, we have a really tight jet stream that keeps that cold air trapped in place at the poles. But sometimes the jet stream weakens and that polar vortex, that Arctic air can sink south. Sometimes it can go as far south in the United States as parts of Texas and the southeast. But most often you'll kind of hear about these Arctic blasts through parts of the Midwest, the Great Plains, and the Northeast. Now you'll also hear us talking about Alberta clippers and they get their names because oftentimes these weak little winter systems form in Canada right around the region of Alberta and they just kind of clip parts of the United States. This is the typical path that they may take as they move through the Great Plains into the Midwest, across parts of the uh, Mid-Atlantic and into the Northeast. They are fast moving and they oftentimes lack moisture. These are not your big blizzards. They're not big nor'easters, but they typically are enough to bring just a little bit of light snow. And oftentimes what moves in behind a clipper is really cold air and blustery wind. Just two types of weather phenomenon that you'll hear about here as we head through the next several months.